Hey guys, it's Becca. I am here at Horror Hound Weekend in Indianapolis. And I'm here with the filmmakers who made Animal Among Us. So we have... I'm John Woodruff. I was a producer and director on the film. And I am Jonathan Murphy, the writer and producer on the film. Okay, this movie is not out yet, so let's just get that out there right now because the very first thing I will get is, where do I watch this movie? I have not seen this movie. I saw these guys on Instagram, I think. But this does look like a fabulous movie. They are on the convention circuit right now, screening. So tell us a little bit first about your movie and when it's going to come out. Okay, so um, basically, uh, yeah, the premise is that 15 years ago, two girls were killed at a sleepaway camp. Um, it was considered to be an animal attack and kind of left unsolved. The camp was condemned. A guy wrote a speculative novel about it that made him very famous and condemned the camp. Now, 15 years later, the camp is reopening. Um, he's invited the grand reopening ceremony, and something horrible still waits in those woods. Right, because that's really what you should do when your camp is condemned. Yeah, you should definitely reopen it, and you should definitely invite high-profile celebrities I, back. I know. I think that I know what happens here. You might, <laughs> yeah. but our writer is very clever. And uh, I would definitely encourage you to watch the film because every time you think you're stepping into a cliche, he takes a severe left turn, which was one of the things that appealed to me about the film, and he worked very hard to make that a reality in the script. So how long have you guys been working on this? <laughs> Too long to... That's, that's a very good question. Um, it's been a many, multiple year long process. Um, but making a movie is not easy and it takes a lot from the development and pre-production, through production, through post-production, and then now to get to the point where we actually have pictures and, and scripts and, and memorabilia and things to, to things share to with show. people yeah. that, that are representative of the years and years that we put into it. Now, yeah. so. I love it when you look on IMDb and it just says like shot in 10 days, shot in 20 days, like mm, well that might be the case. It's but. ironic because yeah that's the smallest part of the production. Exactly, yeah, I mean, shooting the thing. Yeah. We worked on the scripting process for a while um, because we were fortunate we had a lot of like industry contacts to give us feedback and we are really trying to position a film to be as successful as possible in the marketplace. Right. So Jonathan had come up with just an amazing concept, like amazing characters, amazing setting, but we wanted to talk to people with more experience than us to just try to give it a, you know, a chance. So, but, but it seems like in indie filmmaking, there, there are two like schools of thought, and one is just just make it, just do it, make it, put it out there, and see what you get. That's or, not, we, we didn't, yeah. Right, you went the other route, which, yes, which, I mean, I think there's merit in both of these, but yeah, then there's the other route of, okay, let's take this slow, Let's try to get the resources we want, and let's try to put out a movie that doesn't look like it was an independent movie that somebody just put out. Yeah. It's a push and pull of both, I would say. Some of those moments, you, you need all those tools in the tool belt. Because you never know scenario to scenario or what's going to pop up. So sometimes we're faster than, faster than others, and then sometimes we're, you know, the grind of production and getting things done. Right, and this. Yes. The, the pounding the pavement, I'm assuming you guys have been doing this for a while, and you said, yeah. right now it's screening, you said it's going to come out in November? Yeah, so we're, so basically, like, we kind of started pushing the festival agenda in May, um, just to get a little bit, like, get some awards, get some screenings under our belt, um, get some buzz going. That's been going really well for us. Uh, this is actually the first convention that we hit, so we had tested the film here one time, got a great response. After that, we locked picture. And uh, so we decided since we're coming up on the release, like let's come back, like push the film a little bit. Yeah. Um, and our publicity push will start in October. So it should okay. be fun. We'll have another trailer out. We've got one trailer out now, another one will come out there. Which I'll put a link somewhere. Um, so did you guys do any crowdfunding or self-funded or did you find some investors or? We did. We did a, an entirely private equity raise with you know relationships that we, made introductions and fostered over time and, and some were quick again like I said and some took time but we were lucky enough to find a private group of people that believed in what we were doing and, and what we were believing in ourselves that we could do and accomplish so you know we I think we were lucky to not have to go through, not that crowdfunding is bad or anything no, like that, but, but it, there's, I think, yeah. a lot more steps. Not that it, what we did was easy, it's very technical in a lot of aspects, but 
we ended up with a really good group of investors. Who, now, you said you, through contacts, how did you make these contacts? This is just for the people who are kind of curious about no, indie sure. home development. Good question. I, I personally think, and I mean, Jonathan might feel the same way, a lot of people get this idea that you're going to go out and network and you're going to see an instantaneous result. The fact of the matter is, is it's like you meet someone and you never know how you might be able to help each other. And it takes years of cultivating relationships um, mm -hmm. until you find that point of which you can mutually benefit each other. Right. So in this situation with... A lot both, of back scratching. Yeah. And with the investors and with the cast, you know, um, Jonathan like had a lot of like contacts to <laughs> casting directors and agencies and successful actors that relationships he cultivated for years and, and the same with investors. Um, so we just, when the timing's right, and, and yeah. trust, they trusted us. You know, foster really good relationships and continue right. to this day. We, we update them and, and keep everybody updated. So. And there's a, there's a degree of accountability with that and they feel comfortable that we're going to do everything we can to protect them and the project. They know it's going to get finished. They know we're going to put our best foot forward right. because of the trust factor. Right, which is oftentimes the issue with crowdfunding right there, is if you don't have something to show for it, then it's really hard when you don't have something to, to deliver in the end. So yes. to explain to people, it's kind of a one shot, it seems like. Totally, and again, it's the two different schools of thought. I was fortunate enough to come up under some producers that taught me how to raise money through private equity. So basically, you worked in the industry, right? I mean, did. you both are out of LA now, is that correct? So you did work in the industry and got some connections that way and got some advice. For sure. I mean, I, I learned to produce under a guy who won the Sundance Film Festival years ago. Um, and then I worked under an ex-studio head. Jonathan had a tremendous amount of experience on television shows and film. So together, like our skill sets like fit together really right. nicely. Right. Leverage uh, what you have. Leverage yeah. what you know. Yeah. All right. So is there going to be a pre you know, it's an interesting question that'll actually be up to our distributor. And so we've really just gotten to that point now where we know when the big press push will be. He's completed the key art. He's completed the second trailer that will drop. Um, he's given us like our release window. But the strategy is stuff that we're currently like learning about on a day. -to -day and now basis. you're, yeah, you're not, you're not pulling the strings, right? I mean, yeah, isn't that what the distributor is for? <laughs> we're letting this proverbial right. bird fly. Yeah. That's yeah. sort of, yeah, except for you guys are here in Indianapolis. So promoting, I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah, that's a long way to go. Just well, you know, and the thing is, I, a lot of filmmakers, and we talked about this a lot, like your job uh, reaches well beyond the bounds of just making the film. You know, it, again, cultivating the relationships, it's like making sure the word gets out about the film. Right. A lot of filmmakers make their film and it's done, they turn over to the sales agent, the distributor, and they kind of like just uh, see what happens. And I think a lot of distributors and sales agents feel like it's not their job once the release occurs to right. continue to push it. A filmmaker feels like we made the film, so right. we're just trying to like... Well, and if, if you guys are like any of the other people that I've known, you might be sitting here in two, three years promoting this movie like it just came out. Well, and again, with building the relationships, it's like one of the things, we, we were able to test the film here, we had an amazing experience. Now with the release, it was like, you know what, like, let's go back. And so it's one of, there's a huge fan base here. There's amazing people here. It's an amazing event. So and we hope yeah. to be back. But yeah. For sure, you know. So it's, I mean, it's, it's just a great opportunity. So definitely looking to build that relationship too, just on every level. Yeah, and you guys did win, win some awards, some different film festivals. Can you talk about that? For sure. Um, yeah, so we won four awards at the Die Laughing Film Festival in Los Angeles. That's where we did our premiere. We won Audience Choice Award, Best Feature Film, Best Director, Best Lead Actor. Um, Christian Creepy Oliver. Yep. Christian Oliver won that, our lead actor. Creepy Tree Film Festival, we won Best Screenplay. We won Best Feature Film. We won Best Director. And we won... I can't even remember I what the other one was. We got one other one, but I can't remember it. <laughs> and something then, else, they have so many awards that don't came to track. Northern Horror Fest, we won Best Feature Film. And Larissa Olenek, she <laughs> won Best <laughs> Actress. <laughs> We just played at Buffalo Dreams Fantastic Film Fest, and we won their Offbeat Cinema Award, which is for a film that kind of qualifies for like the merits of a genre, but takes its own course. So again, like those left-hand turns, yeah. you know, which we've to been, us... We've been really lucky, too, with the festivals that we played. They've been really, really accommodating, really sweet to us. Everything that we could ask for, and, and 
getting those awards is nothing but you know showing and proving the hard work that we put in this year. Yeah. So paying off. Right. Well, it never hurts to have somebody pat it you on the back. Doesn't hurt. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> and it means a lot. And and even our sales and distribution team has talked about how it helps them as mm -hmm. well. You well, know? right. Yeah. I mean, it gives them something to like basically gives them the little logo to stick on there that kind of sure. draws attention. I mean, for sure. For sure, yeah. man. So yeah, it's been a great ride so far. I mean, yeah. we're just excited our, for October and November and be interested in seeing awesome. it. So you said the film's under lock now, so it won't be showing anymore. So. We might have a couple more festivals. We're talking to a few. We're hoping that we get in, you know, fingers crossed. Yeah. So, but I mean, we're nearing the release. So about to start in November, it'll we'll pull yeah. out of the festival runnings and go straight so to the worldwide. house. Go, yeah. go straight to the home. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank Hope you, you have so a great much. weekend. I'm, I'm going to be seeing you around. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Thank, yes. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks.